shipping enhancements. Freight processing has been enhanced to include new shipping integrations, international shipments, and additional control over how freight charges are calculated. Beginning in 2018 R2, international shipments from the United States are supported through a new integration with Stamps.com. In addition, freight charges can be calculated based on sales order information or shipment data. This allows sellers to quote shipping charges and guarantee the accuracy of those charges on customer invoices. This is useful in situations where payment is collected up front based on the theoretical size and weight of the order. Customers can ship within the United States using native integrations with UPS and FedEx. The new integration with Stamps.com supports shipping from the U.S. to domestic and international locations by the United States Postal Service. Customers must purchase a Stamps.com account to ship via USPS and benefit from lower aggregated shipping rates. International shipping requires customers to purchase the Advanced Fulfillment Customization because Customs Forms must include information about package contents and values. Customers who ship ground freight or originate packages from countries such as Canada, Australia, and the UK can utilize a beta integration with ShipEngine. The ShipEngine integration also supports international shipments using the FedEx and UPS. Several ISVs provide integrations which support less than truckload and third-party logistic solutions. Shipping information is passed from the sales order to the shipment to the invoice. In Acumatica 2018-R2, we added the ability to calculate the shipping price using information from the sales order or the shipment. I can define different pricing options by creating shipping terms, as shown here in the sales demonstration data. Fixed Price Shipping Orders In this scenario, we receive a prepaid order. This could come from an e-commerce system, a point-of-sale system, or an order that is entered manually. In the Totals tab, the Freight Override box is checked and includes the freight price that was collected from the customer. I need to make sure that the price on the invoice reflects this amount, regardless of the actual shipping costs. Following the standard process, I create a shipment. In this example, I have the option to change my shipping method, but the price to my customer cannot be changed. Next, I confirm the shipment. When I create the invoice, the freight price is not recalculated, so it reflects the amount entered on the sales order. Domestic Shipping Using the United States Postal Service In 2018 R2, you can enable USPS shipping by following these steps. Enable the Shipping Carrier Integration feature on the Enable Disable Features screen. Set up the carrier. This requires a Stamps.com account. Create a ship via for each carrier service method you plan to offer. And then assign the appropriate boxes to each shipping method. When a new sales order arrives, the system automatically prints the pick list to my warehouse on the day when the order is scheduled to ship. In this demonstration, I will process the shipment manually. I start from the Shipping Clerk dashboard and select an order to ship. After creating the shipment, I utilize the Process Shipment screen to create the pick list. A warehouse worker with a scanner opens the Pick, Pack, and Ship screen and scans the shipment number. I enabled this functionality by installing the Advanced Fulfillment customization. Next, the worker scans items and puts them in a box. As each item is scanned, quantities are updated. If needed, special barcodes can be scanned to indicate quantities. When a box is full, the worker scans a box code to indicate that the box is complete. When all items are scanned and all boxes filled, I scan the confirmation barcode and Acumatica retrieves package labels and attaches them to the shipment in the Packages tab. International Shipping via the United States Postal Service In this example, I will ship a sales order for an international customer. The process is identical to the domestic shipment. I create a pick list, put the items in a box, and confirm the shipment. To save time, I will run the quick process. Since this is an international shipment, I receive an error because I need to specify the contents of each box for customs. So to fix this, I navigate to the shipment and add items to the boxes. After doing this, I can reconfirm my shipment. Once the shipment is confirmed, notice that the label is created and it contains multiple pages. A shipping label, 
a customs declaration form, and a dispatch note. The number of pages that print will vary by country. The new international shipping and freight options in 2018 R2 allow Acumatica customers to efficiently and economically send packages throughout the world. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner. <laughs>